guys, Step 28, and we are here with Shooting the Breeze, Episode 9, and I'm joined as always with... Greetings, fellow Portomasters, I am Crash Files, and it's once again time to shoot in the breeze! That's just on <laughs> Episode 9, we took a little break there, but we're back. I was really busy. I got really busy with life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So today, uh, we thought it's September 1st, and we thought we would talk about the next four months, and we're getting something pretty cool in all four months, so I thought that would be a pretty cool show. Yeah, and Skyline's such a dead franchise, right? Oh. So I think we're doing okay for the yeah. next months. Yeah. So let's get right into it. We'll talk about uh, September, and what I want to bring up really quick is, anybody who's interested, there is a, a Spyro pop figure. I've already got it pre-ordered and paid off, so I'll be getting it very soon. I'll probably make a video on it. Just to yeah. show it off. Because it's Spyro and it comes with Sparks too. Which yeah, is really cool. yeah. I've seen uh, Crystal Blazers and I think uh, Striker Hero Camel just got them. So. Of course, they yeah. get it first. I've already paid mine and pre-ordered it off. Like, come on, EB. Pick it up. We're, we're like, you know, two weeks behind the U.S. Uh, cool. I also live on an island where everything has to get here by boat. So, <laughs> yeah. so you, might, you might be getting yours in a month, man. If I'm lucky. <laughs> the game first. And then, what else in September? We Okay, of course, Skylanders Academy season Woo! three. <laughs> That's pretty cool. It's uh, exciting. It's exciting for the new season just because of what happened with the last season with the like the big cliffhanger ending. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, I recently ooh, went I like... back and uh, watched the last two episodes. They're awesome, man, and I'm really... We get to find out about Strike Corps. We get to find out the relation of Eon to Chaos. Get to figure out Dark Spyro, what's going on with yeah. all that. It's good. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty cool. So, what do you? Uh, let's just throw that out. What, like, what's your prediction? Who is Chaos's father? What, what do you think? I don't know. Supposedly, I thought the series was all canon, so like, it was canon with the show, with the game, and all that. But it yeah. isn't, so I have no clue. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if Eon is his uncle. Okay, you're going uncle. So, I'm thinking his uncle, and Strikor is just dressing up as. Eon to be like, oh, I'm your dad, and try to mess with his mind and stuff, even though he's just related to him in that way. I'm, I'm I, don't gonna, think we'll, I don't think we'll ever know who Chaos's actual dad is. Yeah, I'm gonna go, I think Chaos, uh, like, Eon is Chaos's father. That's my prediction, so. You are the father! Oh! <laughs> More here to go here. <laughs> so what about, okay, let's move on uh, to October, and that's supposedly, we, we don't have any confirmation date of Skylanders Ring of Heroes. So I'm, I don't know, I'm pretty excited. I'm not a big mobile player, but I am pretty... After seeing like Malfor and a couple new characters come in, it'll just be something new to play, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm really excited because when I first played it, I loved it. Like, yeah. I, we discussed it, I think, a couple days after it came out, and I was way ahead of you when it came to leveling and stuff. Yeah. I was non-stop playing that game. So I know for a fact when it comes out, I'm just going to be on that game the whole time. Yeah, I just didn't want to keep playing the game because I know once the actual game comes out, I'm going to have to do that all over again. So I didn't yeah, want to keep doing that. I, 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 well, I, I didn't want to do it yet. It's a lot of grinding, <laughs> that game, so. Well, I'm thinking I got lucky with my first unbox. I mean, I got Shadow Spiral on my second unbox in the whole game. Like, that's, he's a kind of rarish one, so. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm thinking, I'm thinking if I get that again going into the new game, then we might be good there, but... <laughs> I'm exciting, especially now Malfor, so they really had have new bosses and stuff, so they're adding yeah. more stuff to the game, so. Yeah, it's going to be pretty cool. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's move on to November, and probably your favorite thing that's coming out. The greatest game of 2018 already. <laughs> Confirm. <laughs> Hashtag confirmed. Don't yeah. care. Fire. Spyro Reignited Trilogy, right? Oh. I love Spyro so much. I recently started playing through the original trilogy again. I'm yeah. <laughs> And see, I, I've never really touched Spyro, so I'm pretty excited. I was really looking forward to that game coming in September. But now it's it's November, you know, November what, 13th, is it? I think. I think it's yeah. the 12th or the 13th. Yeah, so um, I'm, I'm still pretty pumped up for that. So mm -hmm. All I know is I'm going to be playing that on day one, and I'm probably going to finish it all on day one. <laughs> it comes out on a weekend because I don't want to miss school for this, but I probably have to. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to probably play, take my time with the game, play a little bit here and there, stretch it out. You know? See, I, I want to do that, but I know for a fact once I start playing the first game, I'm going to have to go into my classic ritual where I have to complete the game in one sitting, like I always do. Yeah. I'd be the game within two and a half hours. So, But what do you think? What happens if the, the controls are all messed up and you're like, oh, this is not like the original? Will you be pretty disappointed or do you think they're going to do a really good job? I'm 
thinking it's going to be similar to uh, Insane Trilogy because okay. when I first played Insane Trilogy, I live streamed it at first, and the first word that I met was, "Man, the controls are different." Because yeah. I could fly through the original game, but for United Trilogy, I was like missing jumps, and I'm just like, uh, "I've never missed that jump before." So yeah. I'm thinking the controls are going to take a little while to get used to, but. Yeah. It's not really something you can mess up. That's the thing. Like with Spyro, his controls are pretty simple. So I think Toys for Bob, anyways, they know the Spyro franchise, so they can just like pop into it and go. Yeah, yeah. I don't. Think it's gonna be very different. It might. It's gonna be a little while. Maybe the first couple levels, I'll be like iffy on. I might get hit a couple times. Be like, oh, geez, okay. But <laughs> no, I, it'll be okay. Yeah. All right. Let's move on to the final month of the year, December. And we are getting uh, that big Skylander comic book where they're going to combine all the comics mm-hmm. into one kind of like anthology. So that's pretty cool. Something, you know. Do you know the name of it? No, I don't think there's an official name yet. So the Skylander comic it, book. It, it begins with an O or something. Book December. Let's see. I'll look it up on my phone here now. You tell them that because I know nothing about comics. O- Omnibus or something? Uh, something really weird. I don't know if that's going to be the official name. Skylanders Omnibus Volume One, twenty five dollars comes mm-hmm. in. December. That's not bad for like all the comics. Twenty five bucks. Yeah, yeah. I think and if you haven't read the comics, I think it's a good pickup. Like I've never read the comics. I didn't even know there was comics. Really. <laughs> I got the only comics I have are those little ones that came the with minis. some of them. What was it? They came with like the imaginary crystals and stuff. Yeah. And although I've only got a couple of those, and that was the only time I've actually read a comic. And I think I bought a book that came with a sticker and a poster once, like a little tiny one. Yeah, yeah, a little. T- yeah. But I mean, yeah, this is probably something I'll probably check out. Um, I don't know if I'll order on Amazon, but if it's in like at a bookstore or something, then maybe I'll pick it up. Yeah. Oh, for sure. I think I'm well, being me and being a collector. I'm gonna pick it up for sure. So. Yeah. Yeah. What What are the comics like? How different are they from the sh- the game and the show and all that? Uh, they're pretty. Uh, they're pretty funny, actually. Like, I don't know if you ever seen if you saw my video. I did a little mini uh, comic. Uh, Trig- Trigger Happy's uh, yeah, Secret I did. Identity. Uh, come on, Skylanders. We need more content. Japs reading the comic book. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it, it's they're pretty. They're pretty good, and they're uh, a lot more adult humor. I find uh, I really enjoy them. So. And the, the artist who draws them is are usually pretty good too. So good, I can tell you that. Like for a comic book perspective, is it red classic front to back, like a yeah. regular? Yeah. Oh. yeah. So it's not manga; it's an actual comic. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. So we're looking pretty good for the rest of the year, right? I mean, there's unless something drops out of nowhere. Yeah. Because usually this time of year that we would get, or a little bit, a couple months ago, we would get an announcement the new game was coming out. So I guess Ring of Heroes is our new game. Yeah. And then. We, um, Spyro Reunited Trilogy anyway so if we are getting anything new I guess this is the year it's going to confirm it so yeah well we'll probably have to wait till February till their investors meeting if we find out even something more new but I mean for now well, it's, uh, like, like I said it's going to still be a pretty good uh, end of the year so well I mean if we go and support all the stuff that's coming out I mean Skyrim's Academy is coming out this month if we sit down and we stream that on Netflix Netflix is going to be like man this is a popular series let's keep this going yeah Get Ring of Heroes once it com- comes out and play it. And even though there's microtransactions, give them a little bit towards it. They'll be like, oh, there's still a franchise in here. Let's go. Spy Ring Night of That's already selling millions everywhere, so we don't oh, have yeah. And then with a the comic book. I mean, I don't even read comics, but I'll still probably pick it up. Yeah, I, I encourage everyone to, you know, do all of the above that you just said. Yeah. <laughs> if you want your Skylander content, you got to go get it and promote it and be like, yeah. oh, I do want more. Let's go. Yeah, you know, when it, it's sad sometimes I see, like, if Skylander uh, tweets something out or something about the Ring of Hero, you know, I see 22 retweets. Like, 22? That's it? Mm-hmm. You know, that's kind of... You know on Twitter, I noticed Facebook is the popular one. Yeah, Facebook, I think, is more popular, yeah. yeah. If you guys aren't following Ring of Heroes on Facebook, do it. Um, did you know that Make 3.0 Shine got a shout-out on their page? Yeah, for creating a character, I think? So he did a, he a did little a, funny joke thing? Yeah. And I, like, I was looking at her, I see Make 3.0, I'm like, dude, I know that guy! <laughs> I was yeah. like, cool! Yeah, pretty cool. See shout outs from the developer stuff, so that's cool. Yeah, but anyways, I think that about does it. Uh, Crash has got to get going soon, and I want to get my day started, but I hope you guys enjoyed this little short preview of what's to come in 2018. Yeah. Alright, we'll just say our goodbyes. Uh, thanks again for coming out, guys, and we'll see you guys soon. Farewell. There we go. All right. Bye, everyone.
mama don't like you And she likes everyone And I never like to admit that I'm strong